2002 Honda XR 100R easy clutch pull problem solved. I can pull this even with my pinky. The bike I bought on Craigslist used out of town. Didn't pay much attention to the clutch pull until I got home and I realized, oh, this is for my son, not for me. And started worrying about uh, how the heck is he going to pull this in. And then when I had him come out, you know, he's a small 14-year-old kid, uh, short hands, not much. Uh, first time learning, he grabbed that and could barely pull that thing in. So right away I started YouTubing, looking at forums, trying to figure out what's the solution to this. And uh, there was some solutions, but then the quality of the easy clutch pull that was um, recommended for the bike was pretty much garbage or did not help very much. And some some forums talked about using just an XR80 uh, clutch handle. And, uh, but it was still a little tough, but, but it improved it a little bit. Um, so I started, you know, again, getting concerned, like, what the heck am I going to use? Um, I got to come up with something for my kid, uh, for the time being until he gets his arm strength built up. Um, so I took a risk. I went ahead and, um, first I actually greased the original cable, uh, which I have laying over here on the ground. I greased it up and, uh. I bought the greasing kit and everything, and still, I was like, no, I, I got to get something a little bit better than that. Um, so I took a risk in, in, in picking up uh, an easy pull clutch that did not say it was for my bike. Because I thought, you know what, it, it, it can't be much different. It, it's a handlebar. Any clutch and mount on there, a clutch handle pretty much from another dirt bike. And so I, I took a risk, and it was the best best thing I, I did. Um, uh, and this is, I can't see it being any easier than this. I mean, this is one finger. Any finger will, will squeeze that in here. My son grabbed it. Oh, my gosh. He's like, wow, that's, that's, that's really easy. Here is your solution. This is a fly racing. There's the information on it. Let me see if I can get that clear enough for you. Now, if you look, it says it's for a CR125-250 or an XR250-400. Okay, it doesn't say it's for this bike. Okay, and I'll explain what I think the difference was, why they don't recommend it for this bike. And uh, usually ha uh, that I could see it has to do with the clutch cable, original clutch cable just not reaching, but there's a way around that. Okay. So um, one thing you'll notice if you do, if you install this this kit is that it is pretty wide. See the gap, but there's a way around that. Uh, is one is this this big fat flipping adjust cable adjuster came with it. This is just way overkill and just ridiculous. Look how fat that thing is. So what I did was I took the original adjuster off very thin gives you more room because it's really tight i could not get the factory cable onto this because there just wasn't enough cable length to pull it off and then to use this big fat thing on here okay so i took this out and then i just used the uh one from the original or you can buy a cheap cheap original uh one for like eight dollars a cheap handle kit and just take that off and use it for this um this actually comes with it, so you can reattach this on here if you want, and then get the handlebar protector that comes out over it. Um, so I still got to put that on. Uh, so one thing to do is, once you get it on there, it's a little tricky. You gotta, you really have to. Um, you'll have to get in there, adjust that all the way to the easy. To, to, that gives you the most cable to get it to actually get on, on onto your uh, clutch handle. And as you can see, when I pull it in, that's all it takes, that little bit of mount. You know, I got it basically the cable at the rightest, uh, the tightest um, play t 
to make sure um, I engage the clutch. Now, what I did was there's two settings. There's a setting with the that the uh, cable can go in the the slot closest to the handlebar, which is you know to the handlebar this way. That gives you the less uh, amount of pull, easiest pull, but it only moves the arm just slightly. So you have to make sure that you dial that in to to where when a clutch is uh, out that the bike's not moving and then when you fully engage it uh, that uh, when it's in gear that when you squeeze it in that, that it does um, engage the clutch all the way so you gotta play with that a little bit but it wasn't that complicated I'm not a mechanic okay I'm just a dad who wants to try to tinker and save a little money and I'm very curious uh, and I, which um, sometimes that works out for me trying to do stuff on my own if it doesn't then I pay somebody a um, couple other things you could do is because there's such a wide gap here and if you put it on this setting right here the first setting that I have it on for it to make it the easiest clutch pull you have a little bit of room where you can adjust this bolt here to give it just enough gap to where it brings it a little bit closer for him to grab. Your handlebar's got your hands got to come off a little bit just to grab the clutch anyway. Anytime you shift, okay. So my son, he's got short hands, so he just reaches over and grabs it, shifts, and once he gets a hang of it, and he and he builds his arm strength and he gets comfortable with the clutch, then I will move it. To the next setting which is out here that allows more of a clutch pull which I don't need I only needed just enough to engage the clutch so then when I put it on the bigger one it's a little bit harder pull but not much then I'll increase that gap even more so that way this will start like right here you know it'll be easy for him to pull that in as well once he gets used to it one other thing too is when you uh Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. Wanted to make sure that when you pull, you probably can't see it, but when you pull it in, you'll see where the cable is. You want to make sure you adjust this in the right position, get it tight to where when the clutch comes in, that cable's not rubbing against as it comes out of the tube. You know, because if you had this tube like over here, tightened down, over here, tightened down, then you pull the clutch in, then that cable's going to constantly rub against the um, shielding and wear out. I got it dialed in just perfect to where you know see it's like right there in the middle so it takes a little playing with not too, not too difficult but that is your problem solved. I did put on a new clutch cable and I did grease it uh, just because I, I just want to you know I wanted to have a good start and so this was the clutch cable that I used. It's the OEM one Moose racing, there's all the information you need on that. So this will solve your problems if you have an XR100. You know, I, I'm like so happy, so pleased with that I, I, I lucked out and, and just tried a, a brand or a, 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 a clutch handle that did, had nothing, in, that did not say it was for this bike. My next, my next thing I gotta tackle is this darn carburetor, and that's what happens when you buy a used bike. You know, you drive it home, you don't think you have, a, you think it's got a couple little things, and then before you know it, you gotta do this, do that, do this, you know. And that's just how it is. So hopefully this helps everybody out there. If it does, please let me know, or if you have some other ideas.